almost one month in Tunisia and the day has finally come to explore Sidi Bouzaid and find out together if it's really worth the hype. On the agenda today, food with a nice view before anything else, bambalouni, the best bambalouni in Sidi Bouzaid for dessert and a stroll around the city. Let's go! Oh my gosh, the view from up here is so beautiful. You can immediately see the water and there's actually a marina and that's the restaurant where I'm going to have lunch today. I'm so excited. The view from up here is impeccable. The water is so clear and it's very peaceful. The sky is a little bit hazy because there are some mountains right behind it. You can see them, you know, the peaks from up there, but they're not as clear as they're supposed to be. But regardless, this is amazing. I just ordered some lunch and I cannot wait to just relax and enjoy this impeccable view. The next mission is to find the best, the best Bambalouni in City Busaid. Let's go. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Like I couldn't even wait <laughs> to film. This is so delicious. And this shop, they've been in business since 1932. So it's the oldest in Sidi Bouzaid. And they add some sugar on it and it's so delicious. But when you order your bambalouni, make sure it's warm. Don't mind waiting if they have to make another batch and you wait for it to be warm because that's what makes it really delicious. Mm. Mm. The colors of the city, especially the blue and the white, makes it feel like Shifshawen in Morocco or Santorini in Greece. But I love the view here of the Mediterranean, how calm the water is, it's amazing. I think I now understand why everyone was telling me that I should not miss Sidi Bouzaid. Not that I was going to, but it was just last on my trip. Beautiful out here, honestly. There's supposed to be a beautiful palace right in front of me called Najma Zahra. It was closed a little bit ago, but I think it's open right now, 2 p.m. So let's check it out. Got my ticket at the door for five Tunisian dinars. Also a tip or something that I'm learning now that I'm traveling full time is that if you go to a city and it's by the ocean and it's got a strategic point and you find a palace or a governor house, go there because 99.9% .9 of the time they will have an amazing view. Palaces, governor houses, or even cultural centers actually. And that's exactly the case out here. It's amazing. It's right by the ocean. You can see the whole marina and that's the cafe where I had lunch earlier and it's so peaceful here. And they also have beautiful gardens. It's very nicely maintained. This is amazing. The castle is great. There are so many fun things to see inside. But to be honest with you, I'm much more interested in this view. <laughs> this looks amazing. Now check in Dar al Nabi. It's a traditional house open for visitors to get a feel of what the old houses were like in Sidi Bouzaid. So peaceful and quiet inside. Obviously the theme is blue and white. And in the tickets, by the way, five dinars, you get tea and the entrance ticket, which is good. Tea is always good. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. Oh, this is incredible. The terrace is open with a view of really everything. 
you can actually see that the haze is clearing up a little bit and the mountains right there. They have a beautiful seating area right here in the courtyard. It's amazing. And remember, tea is included. So I found a whole tray and no one is saying anything about how many I can have, how many cups I can have. So maybe it's time for some tea shots for me. <laughs> Two spots that I was very happy to find before leaving Sidi Bou Said. The first one is a cute small coffee shop called the Bin Brahim. They do have a very nice selection of lattes and I tried their rose latte cold. It was so good and even the presentation and how they put it together, super neat. And then the other place I was happy to see uh, is a store that sells dates. It's called the Deima, I think that, that was the name. And they do sell a nice selection of dates they do also sell uh, dates, jam, and then soaps. And I just bought a, a bar of soap uh, that's made from uh, palm tree fiber, which is pretty interesting. And then I got myself a small box of dates. And I will end my adventure here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.